BBC Radio 6 Music. Right now, it's Philip Salway's Finest Hour. Hello and welcome to the show. I'm Philip Selway, back again in the finest hour hot seat, sitting in for the wonderful Guy Garvey. Um, over the next couple of hours, I'm going to be playing you a selection of lovingly chosen music. Started with Burnt Offering, a song from Staten Island-based Budos Band. And next up, we have Lauren Hill, when she was moonlighting from the Fugees back in 1998. The song is Do Wop that thing. Yo, remember yeah. back on the bully when cats used to harmonize like <laughs> Lauren Hill and do up that thing. Um, now the next record uh, is a it's a new signing to to the label I'm on, Bella Union. It's uh, a quintet from Iceland, carrying on in that great tradition of uh, of amazing Icelandic music uh, a very potent place indeed uh, it's uh, a band called Mammoth and it's a song called Salt Off an EP they've got coming out on June the 1st called River's End so here it is Mammoth and Salt and that was uh, Mammoth uh, with a song called Salt now, in the year of my birth, 1967, um, Neil Young was driving a hearse on Sunset Boulevard where he was spotted by Stephen Stills and, and that uh, little encounter led to the formation of Buffalo Springfield. I mean, it's a pretty cool way to get a band together. It's better than spotting each other in a corridor at Abingdon School, as happened in Radiohead. It's a bit cooler. But, um, anyway... This is a fantastic song from them. You'll know it very well and always worth a play. It's called, for what it's worth, it's Buffalo Springfield. Ah, it's Buffalo Tom uh, with song Soda Jerk. Lots of buffaloes around today from Buffalo Springfield to the Tom version. There we go. That uh, was off their 1993 album, Big Red Letter Day. So the next song is from uh, Nadine Shah. Uh, this is her current single uh, called Fast Food, or free album Fast Food. And there's, there's a lot of Nadine Shah around at the moment. She also appears on um, Ghost Poet's uh, album at the moment called uh, The Album's Shedding Skin. And she's on the song, brilliant title, that ring down the drain kind of feeling. But this is, as I said, Fast Food and Nadine Shah. Nadine Shah and fast food. Now, thinking back to when I was a teenager, I can quite vividly place myself back in my bedroom and see all the posters that used to be be up on my wall. Um, I remember Claire Grogan. There was Debbie Harry. There was a, a Tom Robinson band um, poster as well for Power in the Darkness. And um, another one was a bit of a... An icon for me was uh, it was a Susie Sue poster as well, and so this next song is uh, is a song from Susie and the Banshees, and um, yeah, they were a big big thing for me when I was a teenager, and I even remember the um, first time I ever actually played with anybody from Radiohead. It was in uh, a, a school kind of very long. Uh, it was called a jamathon. It was 24 hours of playing. And uh, Susie and the Banshees had done, as you'll remember, a cover of Dear Prudence. And I think that kind of informed that first song that I, I remember playing with Tom. And I think it was Colin was there as well. And so, yeah, it was all very bound up in, in, <laughs> in my teenage years. Anyway, this song is, uh, it is off the of their album Juju and it's an amazing song it's called Spellbound this is Susie and the Banshees from the cradle bars comes a beckoning voice it's still a borrow and that was Aaron Neville with Hercules and Aaron Neville definitely one of New Orleans finest alongside uh, the songwriter for that one Alan Tucson now next up uh, it's a song from from Lamb um Lamb made up of Andy Barlow and Lou Rhodes. Um, they went on a hiatus 
towards the end of uh, the the, the noughties, um, but came back in 2011 uh, with with a new album, and have managed to since then. Which, you know, judging by my work rate, I think that's uh, that's prolific. So uh, this song is uh, called In Binary. It's their current single, and it's off the album Backspace Unwind. <laughs> And that was Each Moment New by Lou Rhodes. And, uh, well, you probably spotted the link there. That was, um, I talked about before the Lamb track, their, their hiatus. And that's what Lou Rhodes actually did in her time away from, from the band. She did uh, a number of solo albums. And that was the opening track of her first album, Beloved One. I know, there's something about, about the, the kind of the arrangements on her solo records where it just, brings her voice out to the fore and just such an amazing affecting voice moving on we have a track from um uh, an afro blocker which was organized back in 1974 um they're called ile aye and uh you know at the heart of this you've just got this very very complex and rich percussion troupe which i you know for me is actually for want of a better word, quite transportative, really. And so this is a song by them. Uh, it's called Que Bloco E Ese. Oh, I'll start, stop jigging around in front of the microphone now. That was Que Bloco E Ese by uh, Ile Aye. Um, now, the next song is from Jimi Hendrix. There's a slight debate going on in here as to the title. Some people say Voodoo Child. Some people say Voodoo Child. There is a solution to this conundrum, though. Um, it, it dates back to when the, the song was being recorded. It was recorded for the Electric Ladyland sessions. And evidently, Jimi Hendrix, one day, he was uh, jamming with Steve Winwood on organ and Jack Cassidy on bass. And that's where the version Voodoo Child comes from. The following day, Noel Redding and Mitch Mitchell fantastic rhythm section came in and played the song with him uh they were doing a documentary at the time uh and they had to <laughs> learn the song do their performances and get it all right in a few takes in front of the cameras as they were rolling but they did and it is an amazing song and all of that coming up after the next trail Six. Six. guitar just doesn't come better than that does it Oh, anyway, that's Voodoo Child, Voodoo Child, whichever one you want. It's uh, by Jimi Hendrix, of course. Now, if you were in Boston at the end of the 90s, uh, you'd have encountered many fantastic hip-hop happenings there. And uh, out of that scene, there came, um, well, many artists, one of them being Eden. And this next track uh, is from him, and it features another artist from from that uh, time and city uh, called insight this is a song called funky voltron and that was can't find my way home by ellen McElwain. as a song i hadn't really come across before and an artist that i hadn't come across before until it was recommended to me quite recently uh, she's been around since since the mid 60s evidently and uh, one of those things, you know, you're supposed to claim that you know those things, but hands up, I didn't know that. Anyway, it's an amazing song. Moving on to the next song, we're going to, I suppose, kind of opposite end of the musical spectrum, really. This is a song by Tricky. It's from his album Mixed Race. And it's a song called Murder Weapon, which, as you'll know, has the Peter Gunn theme at the heart of it. That's... Uh, tune written by henry mancini but tricky takes it somewhere really sublime so this is murder weapon by tricky and that was murder weapon by tricky next song is from song hoy blues uh they're uh, a group of musicians from mali came to greater prominence through uh, the Africa Express. And this is their current single. It's called Subor, and it's from the album Music in Exile. Subor by Songhoi Blues. Uh, now, I was talking earlier about uh, posters and how you can vividly place yourself back in your adolescence. 
there's music that does that as well. And for me, the undertones really takes me back to that point. And this next song is called uh, You Got My Number. And it just puts me back into those kind of those trials and tribulations of adolescence. And uh, I have actually three teenage boys myself, so probably a useful place to try and get back to at the moment. So here it is. It's The Undertones with You Got My Number. Right, I've come out of my adolescent regression there. That was The Undertones and You Got My Number. If you're a fan of Scandinavian crime drama, you might recognise this this next song. It is from uh, The Bridge, and it's the title track and, and the play-out track from that series. Fantastic series. And it's by Choir of Young Believers, and it's a song called Hollow Talk. The Sound of the Sixties. That was Ogden's Nut Gone Flake, and that was by Small Faces. This next song, I think we'll have to keep it between us because I know when it was released, this was actually banned by the BBC. But a bra- brave new world, and we move on. Uh, <laughs> but I, I'm not sure if, if this is going to kind of reactivate some kind of sleeper who's uh, hidden away in some dark and dusty corridor at the Beep, maybe trying to come out and wrestle this track to the ground. But it's a good bit of innocent fun. It's a track by um, Rita Marley. It's called One Draw, and all I can say really is, uh, hey kids, don't do it. Sorry, miles away there. Um, I got a bit distracted. Uh, I'm pre-recording this show, and in the next studio, Mark Radcliffe and Stuart McConia are currently interviewing Tracy Thorne. Very excited about that. So I should move swiftly on now. This is a song called Sugar Cube by Yo Latengo. The song was mono and the band was Beak. And the man behind Beak is Jeff Barrow, he of Invader Records, and that other side project he's got going, Portishead. I recently actually dusted down my football boots at uh, an invitation from Jeff to go and play in a football tournament, six-a-side football tournament. It was a, a fundraiser for a um, great school in Newbury called Mary Hair School it's for uh, for school for the death and um I was invited to play with Jeff's team um called <laughs> Brian Music FC <laughs> sorry it still tickles me <laughs> that's right up there with Quiz Team Agriere, I think for me um anyway they very politely tolerated my my complete lack of of footballing skills and uh yeah I had a a, a rude awakening to the uh, politics of the football field that day. Anyway, moving on. uh, This next song is uh, going back to 1979. It's from Joe Jackson. Uh, It's from the album Look Sharp. It's the album that brought him to prominence. And it's an incredible song. It's different for girls. Please stop, Mr. Bassist. Thank you very much. That was excellent, though. Thank you to Joe Jackson as well, and it's different for girls. Now, this next artist uh, is Eka Vandal, and I'm afraid to say I don't know an awful lot about about her. I've just ca- came across her in a uh, playlist in um, Deviate magazine. I've looked around and uh, to try and find some more information about her, but unfortunately must be looking in the wrong places but anyway i think i should probably just let her music do the talking this is a song called white flag by Eka vandal Eka vandal and white flag exam season is well and truly upon us at the moment so this uh, next song uh it's kind of uh, it's for me it was always a good one during exams uh so this one goes goes out yeah Hey, kids. Uh, To um, anybody at the business end of it doing exams, anybody trying to coax people through exams at the moment, lecturers, the like, or parents who are trying to jolly and cajole their children (laughs) into revision. This one's 
for you. It's a song I listened to uh, from an album that I listened to a lot when I was doing my finals up in Liverpool um, back in 1989. It's from an album called Moon Dance by Van Morrison, and this song is called Into the Mystic. The Flowers of Romance uh, by Public Image Limited. And one of my proudest moments, I have to say, was once at an awards ceremony and I was heckled by John Lydon. Who'd have thought, eh? Anyway, next up we have the wonderful Etta James. She doesn't need an introduction, she's just wonderful. And this song is called At Last. So where do you go from Etta James? Well, it's too eels of course yeah this uh, next song is uh, novocaine for the soul to cheer up your sunday afternoon <laughs> anyway who am i to talk i'm in radiohead so <laughs> here we are eels novocaine for the soul eels and novocaine for the soul and that brings us around to the end of the show i'm afraid um thank you for listening it's been great actually for me listening to these tunes i've loved it and next up we have jarvis cocker and next week uh, allegedly i think guy garvey is back but anyway in the meantime take care thank you for listening and see you again i hope this is jackson five and never can say goodbye <laughs> <laughs> 